going to be cold today, Johnny, so I got you a new winter jacket. Oh, I am not wearing that. They're predicting a harsh winter, and I don't need my son freezing at the bus stop, getting hypothermia, and then living in a box the rest of his life. You're paranoid, Mom, and I am not wearing a jacket! <laughs> I hate my new jacket. Try to focus on the positive aspects of the coat, like you're not cold or you're a human airbag. Kids are gonna laugh at me. Think positive thoughts. You need a what? A new suburban weapon thingy that can protect the general public in case there's an alien robot attack from outer space. <laughs> you know there's never been an alien robot attack from outer space ever in the history of the world. Oh, so you can say for certain that it'll never ever happen. Ever. Uh... We didn't think so. And if you help us, the government will throw you a goo. Fantastic tea party, complete with gill plates, gill napkins, and gill. Cord. I have to plug it in now because the battery is shut. It's not like I can buy a replacement on there, so run along closer so I can destroy you. Forget it. I will have my revenge. Now. I am never wearing that jacket again. Hey, you uh, um, uh. in fear. I want the public to not even notice our agents are wearing a weapon. It should be subtle and stylish. Stylish? Kinda like you're not wearing the ultimate alien destroying weapon. Hmm. Great. Well, we'll be back in the morning. Mom, I kinda lost my jacket. But I found it. I'm not wearing that. Come on. Is it me, or did this jacket get even heavier? It's a nice winter jacket. And again, try and remember the positive. <laughs> Rough. Um. Did I miss Johnny? I got a longer extension cord, and I was really looking forward to destroying him. <laughs> I'm starting to like the jacket. And I love it! Girls, I want 700 suburban super jackets for Ronto! Johnny, take off the jacket so we can make some modifications. Yeah, I'll be right back. How long do you think you'll be gone? Hard to say. Science class, the quicker I light the Bunsen burner, the quicker we'll finish class. Need a light. Thanks, Johnny. Seen 
Johnny. I want to destroy him. We're waiting! And I need that jacket! What if there was an alien robot attack from outer space right now? General, there will never, ever be an alien robot attack. Now, do you believe us? After me. What? They're Antirian robots. I sort of took over the world once and they're still holding a grudge. I need more winter attack jackets now! We only need one! Destroy. Destroy! No space robots will ever come to Earth, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did I miss something? Alien robots dark napped vegan, and now they're gonna take over our world! But Johnny's jacket can save us! Quick, boys, better get it! It's too small! It was just a prototype! Yeah, well, Johnny's gotta fight them! There, we're saved! Say what? How am I gonna beat four alien robots? I'm one ten-year-old boy with an admittedly cool coat! Special features in the jacket. Just read this manual. Him read a manual? Fine, I'll put it in verbal command mode. Just tell the jacket what to do. Uh, fly downtown battle mode. I'm a changed man. I have to plug in my weapons now. Okay, I might have deserved that. The cool Jack the Hero is back to save us! All right, alien robots, let's dance. <laughs> Save me, I promise not to attack you. And I'll open a bakery where I'll give you free donuts for life. Deal. Crush, defeat, destroy. Save me, mode. How many Antirians are left? Two. Okay, I hope I have another cool jacket mode. I forgot they could do that. Hey, Gankerman, again saying the kid in the dome but sometimes cool winter jacket and all of us are doomed! Destroy Earthling in the winter jacket! Deflect it in a flight to get with us and I'll leave it like they doesn't look like it!
Johnny. You'll have the arm strength of a hundred men and reflexes faster than a mosquito. I didn't even know mosquitoes had fast reflexes. Now, grab that 500-pound weight over there. Uh, I guess this is cool. But you know what would be cooler? Hmm? A key that could open every lock in the city. Huh? Who's with me? Ooh, he's right. That would be cool. Hey, giant metamorphic super arms are cool. They can help firemen rescue people and help police catch bad guys. Can I throw a car? Go nuts. Just write down all test results on this chart. And keep it low-key. The SSGA has been spying lately to make sure our experiments are only used for good. Hey, <laughs> just two men drinking coffee sitting in a tree. We're not spying or anything. Hey! We've also added a hydraulic house version of the super arm. Observe. Yeah, this can't be good. After one hour with the giant metamorphic super arms, I'm bored. Bored. Got it. Anything else? Yes. I wish I was testing a super key that could open everything instead. Hey! My baby! Save my baby! a baby from a burning building while saving it from getting hit by a car. All good uses. And hopefully put out this fire with one giant clap. Johnny. You mean this thing can't open the amusement park or zoo or candy store? It's the ceremonial key. It, it doesn't open anything. Hmm. What a rip. A key to the city that doesn't open anything. <laughs> Waste of metal is what it is. But wouldn't it be great if there was a key like that? A key that could open everything? <laughs> Forget it, Johnny. But is it possible that a scientist or a pair of scientists or awesome twin sisters could invent something so amazing? It's possible. And is it possible that this key could open anything? Maybe even Gil's heart? Oh. I got to try it first because it was my idea. And we approve. As long as the key is used only for good. Slab ass everything. Oh, this is gonna be good. The only key in the world that can open any lock anywhere, anytime. Privacy. Take things that do not belong to you, or go to places you should not be. There's only one lock I want to open, and the stuff inside belongs to me. Um, this is your mom and dad's room. I know, and inside that closet is my stuff they've confiscated from me over the years. But now, I just put this key in, and... Like three year old Halloween candy, I always say. And I got my roller skates back. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it, this key really is a key to the city. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> yep. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm using the park all to ourselves! <laughs> Some 
money. You gotta love the key. Love the key. Mwah. Huh. We might have gone a little too far with the key thing. You don't suppose there were cameras at the other places too, do you? A real life key to the city. That's what everyone's talking about today in Pork Belly. It seems a boy and his dog have just that. A key that opens everything. Are you nuts? We left all the money at the bank. Except what this smorgasbord cost. This report is all over town. Now everyone in this town is going to want that key. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Is not everyone in town. Where is it? This old sweater trunk has been locked ever since I lost the key years ago. Now it's everyone in town. I need that key. Run, right? Oh, One super escape tree coming up. I hate that key. Survive that? Uh, how are we gonna survive the entire town after us? Easy. We got the perfect place to hide. A super secret government base that only top military brass and we can get into. Okay, we're safe from the mob, but what about the military? Give it a key, Johnny! They can be used to unlock the secrets of our enemies! Let's run the other way! We told you to use that key for good! And you were back. Only get out in this room! No, no! That's one initiator. That's okay. He's a good robot, right? <laughs> right? Cancel task one! Cancel task one! Right? Uh, actually, he was designed to stop the girls if they ever, you know, use their inventions for evil. <laughs> So where's he going? To your house to destroy the lab and everything in it. That's task one? Destroy our lab? How could you do that? We didn't. We were about to disassemble it, but you had to open the door labeled Keep Out. Ooh, point taken. Hey, you're totally safe as long as you're not in the lab. <laughs> your dad, on the other hand. Who attacks? We gotta destroy that thing before it destroys the lab. And Dad! We'll stop him with our ten billion dollar super duper super tanks! Now, I can uh, just find the key. <laughs> That'll work. Target, test house, objective, annihilation. when the town attacks and doesn't clean up. Target, <laughs> test house, objective annihilation. Not so fast, giant metal robot soldier! I said not so fast! Oh, darn! I really thought the giant hands were gonna work. Any other way I can stop this thing? Just thinking. Well, there is a panel on the back of his neck. It sets up a turbo sleep mode. But uh, we don't have a key. Have you even been following this story? <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you, kids? Don't make a mess in the lab. <laughs> Best lab penalty to begin annihilation. Um, help! Hey, Dad. <laughs> Be fine. And so will Pork Belly once we eliminate this key to the city. We're taking it back to Area 51.1 to destroy it. This way, it'll never fall into the wrong hands again. Hank Anchorman here saying the mystery key to the city is still out there. After these surveillance photos were taken of these men opening doors and locks all over Pork Belly. I knew it! 
If anyone knows the whereabouts of that key, please tell me. I gotta have it.